Alright, yes Woody, as we know, a couple of days from now we're going to be playing our first game in a World Cup. Has it truly sunk in yet that, you know, we're at a World Cup? I mean, I think the feeling's, the feeling's definitely coming on, the nerves are starting to kick in. Training's going well, um, we're really building and we're looking to do something special. So, um, yeah, the, the feeling's getting there, but um, I mean, once you, it won't fully hit me, I don't think, until I step out onto that pitch and you know, hear the first whistle. Yeah, I mean, you were there over in America for the qualifiers a couple of years ago, so um, when you got the news that you were in the World Cup squad, you know, what was the, the, the reaction like from your end? Oh, elation, elation. I know what this group's capable of. I've been a part of this group now for four or five years, and um, like you say, you mentioned America in the World Cup qualifiers. What a feeling that was to actually qualify for Jamaica. An, an amazing experience, an amazing feeling, and to be back part of this group. Uh, as soon as I got the call, I was like, yes, I'm, I'm going to be there. Just tell me when and where. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, post the World Cup, we had a couple of games against England Knights and Scotland. We went up to Cumbria uh, last week. You know, you know how key were those in terms of preparation for the tournament? Oh, massive! You, you need to test yourself. I mean, you can, there's only so much you can do in training. You need to see where you're at. I mean, I know we lost against Cumbria last week, but um, I took a lot of positives for that. The first half, especially. Um, I mean, and when you're playing these friendly games, you chop and change the team about, so things things get muddled up. But no, there's a lot of positives there. And it was good. It was a good reflection of where we're at and what we needed to work on, and that's what we've been trying to fix up this week in training. And just so you know, fans back home can get to know you a little bit better. Let's talk about your Jamaican heritage. Is it your parents, your grandparents? Yeah. So, on? well, my granddad and grandma were part of the Windrush generation that came over. Um, he lived over here as a baker. He obviously had his his children. So my mother over here, she was born in the 80s, over, no 60s, sorry, over here. And um, yeah, so that's 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 my heritage. I've obviously a lot of family over there. So my family is based in Brownston, St Anne's uh, province, um, and I've been over there, seen them. Um, so yeah, that's 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 my background, my heritage there. Yeah, and of course you've played league for, for quite some time now and you would know a lot of the guys that we're playing against, especially on the Irish team. So, especially for the domestic base lads, you know, what are some of the things that they can look out for in this encounter? Uh, for the Irish boys, yeah, they're going to be fiery, they're going to want to win. Um, and, and home for their quick tempers, but no, there's some really good lads on that team. One of my, one of my good mates, Joe Keyes, is uh, playing in the halves for them. An excellent player, been one of the best players in the championship this year. So, just watching his dummy because he loves to show and go. Um, and just, yeah, anything quick. And then obviously they've got some great players like Richie Myler, the King brothers, the senior brothers. So yeah, just got to go in there and be physical with them. Yeah, and finally, but we have quality in our squad as well. So I'm sure there's confidence in high to go and get a result. Oh, definitely, definitely. As I said, um, anything can happen on a day. Um, I've talked about our playoffs in our domestic game. Um, we went in heavily, heavy favourites against York and we came away with a loss. So, you know what I mean? Anything can happen on a day. We just need to turn up, play our best rugby. And just not back down from anyone, you know, we're going in as underdogs, but you know, I wouldn't take it as a disrespect, I'd take it as an opportunity, so yeah. Yeah, and finally, as you know, Yorkshire is home to many, many Jamaicans in Leeds, mm -hmm. Huddersfield and, uh, and Bradford, you know, do, so will the Ireland game, in a way, feel like a home game for us with the, the Jamaican diaspora? Yes and no, I mean, if the Jamaicans show up in full force and, uh, you know, I mean, we make it, create an atmosphere, that party atmosphere that the country is known for. It'll feel like, it'll, be, it'll feel good. It'll feel like being in Jamaica. So, apart from the weather. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheers.